I'm Dr. Lindsay Butzer, a small animal veterinarian practicing in South Florida. And today we're gonna go over the core feline vaccines and where to give them on the cat's body and why we give them in certain anatomical locations. All right, let's get into it. Before we get started, people always ask me, where do you get your scrubs? They're so cute and fitted, and I get them from Barco Uniforms. So what I'm wearing right now is Grey's Anatomy Spandex Stretch, and this is a super pretty deep purple for springtime. So I'm gonna put the link in my description below, and you guys can shop online for all of their awesome scrubs. The four core feline viruses that we vaccinate them to protect them against the viruses in their environment are gonna be one, feline herpes virus type one, or feline rhinotracheitis virus. And this causes upper respiratory infections, some ocular discharge, and vaccinating against this one will help reduce severity of the virus when they get it, because most felines will come in contact with this virus. Number two is feline Khaleesi virus, and this one also causes upper respiratory issues, but it has a classic pathology of causing ulcers on the tongue. So this vaccine will help reduce the severity of clinical signs if your cat gets this. Number three, which I'm sure you've heard of this one, feline distemper virus or panleukopenia. This is a very important core vaccine and the vaccine is almost 99% effective at preventing these cats from getting the virus if they're vaccinated. Number four is the rabies vaccine. And this is required by the law to have your cats updated with this vaccine so that they don't get rabies because as you know, this is transmissible to humans and is a deadly virus. So a fifth vaccine that I'm gonna add is the feline leukemia virus vaccine. This one is important to me in South Florida with our outdoor cats that are exposed to feline leukemia virus through saliva or grooming. So this vaccine will help protect those cats that are gonna be outdoor cats. I also recommend it to pet owners having cats indoors who like to rescue cats or simply have multiple cats in their house. That's an important vaccine. So the core vaccines are actually gonna only be two shots and that is because this vaccine here is a combo, the FVCRP, and that has those first three viruses in them, feline herpes, Khaleesi, and feline distemper. So this is one vial that carries those three viruses to protect your cat against them. And then the other one is the rabies, and then this one is the feline leukemia virus. So the FVCRP vaccine is gonna be given in the front right limb and we give our vaccines in cats in the lower limbs. So on the scapula or as low down as you can go where there's some easy skin you can pick up and same with the hind limb, as low as you can go on the limb. We stay away from the lumbar and the spinal region in cats because they can develop tumors called fibrosarcomas which are fast growing, um, they metastasize and they're dangerous vaccine reaction tumors and if we're gonna cure the cat of it, we have to be able to remove the lin, and you can't remove the lumbar or the spinal region, right? So we wanna do these vaccines as low as possible on their limbs, so that's very important. So now the rabies vaccine, this goes on the right hind limb. So the feline leukemia virus vaccine, this is gonna go on the front left limb. All right, so we're gonna vaccinate this kitty. This is Fred the tabby cat helping us for this video. So I like to peel off these, um, the labels, so I know what vaccine I'm giving because when you have three syringes, you don't wanna mix them up. Um, and it's super hard sometimes to get these little plastic wrappers off. I'm sure you know that if you're a vet tech reviewing and watching this video, you can comment below if you have a hard time taking these little labels off the vial too. So here we go. You might need help because cats don't always like to get vaccines, right? I might even need help as I start doing this. So we're gonna give Fred his rabies vaccine. So this one's gonna go in the right rear. Okay, all right, Fred, don't do anything. Boink. Good boy, there you go. All right, there's his rabies. And then now we're gonna give him his FVCRP, which is feeling distemper. 
So that goes subcutaneously under the skin. I've made a video on how to give a sub-Q injection. You can find that on my YouTube channel. So here we go. Boom. We're gonna give him that. Good boy. All right. And then here is that feline leukemia virus vaccine. That goes on the left front. So I'm gonna go lower on the limb here and I'm giving him that vaccine. All right, just like that. That's it. Good boy, Fred, you did a great job. You did a good job. <laughs> so cats, after they get their vaccines, some of them can become lethargic, weak, or not wanna eat for a couple days. And if this is happening, please advise those clients to come back in and you may need to give them a steroid injection or some fluids or supportive care to get them eating again if they had a reaction to the vaccines that they got. All right, guys, I hope you had a great review of the vaccine locations in cats and learned something about the core vaccines for our feline patients. Hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up to help this video circulate to more animal lovers like yourself. And I hope to see you guys back here on my channel next week.